Britchka, Britchka, Britchka. Oh, I love that word, Britchka. It sounds like a cross between something very British and something so very European, which is what I like to think it is. The chariot, I mean. This magnificent carriage, the Britchka chariot. British because it's used by the family of the Earl of Lichfield, my dear husband, and European because touring Europe is what we do in it. Grand tours of the finest cities of all Europe. And a chariot, not a coach, but a chariot. It makes it sound fast and purposeful, more than a means of getting from one place to another, which of course it is. The carriage, with its heavy duty suspension that can ride the pothole roads of the continent, with its dark livery, which has no markings, making it anonymous, allowing us to travel without pomp and ceremony, which was most important to ensure the safety of the traveller in uncertain times in the states of Europe. It was fitted with extensive luggage and had room for a mattress that could be laid down to provide us with a bed. Lamps, both on the outside and on the inside, allowed us to travel onward throughout the night, stopping only to change the four horses. I hear some say that these journeys were without danger and adventure, just paltry things that were just a means to maintaining the old order, but I can't agree with them. And I can't see how any such journeys of enlightenment could possibly be done without travelling in a most wonderful chariot such as this. And now these new railways, they come and dig up our landscape, take the route that best suits the builders with no fault to the landowners. My husband's family, traditions and rights can be pushed aside in the need for progress. This revolution of industry goes too far. The navvies are cutting through the estate, digging a cutting and a tunnel too at my husband's demand. If this wretched railway is to cross my estate, then I do not want to see it, his very words. And then he wagered that they could not do it to his satisfaction. A bet they choose to ignore. Will these new wonderful railways have such a wonderful carriages and chariots as the Britchka? <laughs> I think not. But the railway company have offered us our own halt. We can contact them and request that trains stop to take our party to our destination, providing that we give them a day's notice, which is some compensation. But they're also paying for the land that they're cutting through. Welcome monies which will be used in settling some of the, uh, uh, the debt and mortgages that comes with ownership of such a large estate. Oh, Britchka, Britchka, Britchka. Such a wonderful word, full of our own tales and journeys that alas can no longer be taken. <laughs>